My name is Shale Marks and I am a social worker and a substance use counselor at SunCloud Health in Highland Park, Illinois. And um, my roles here, uh, I sort of wear a lot of different hats. Um, my primary role is being a psychotherapist and treating patients who are suffering from substance use disorder, eating disorders, trauma, depression, anxiety. So I run groups and uh, I also serve as the patient care coordinator. And so uh, I coordinate uh, the patient's care in terms of their length of a commitment to the program, um, insurance, and making sure that uh, they're getting everything that they need, basically. Well, one of the things that uh, really drew me to SunCloud Health is that uh, Dr. Kim Dennis, our medical director and CEO, uh, was starting this treatment center and she was really looking for clinicians who um, not only share her vision um, in terms of a treatment philosophy, but also are in recovery themselves. and. Um, that's something that, that I've experienced in my own life and try to bring into my own work, which I think really helps in terms of connecting to the patients. I think that they really appreciate um, when their therapist uh, understands where they've been. There are many things, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think one of the, the um, most mis misunderstood things about whether it's eating disorders or substance use disorders is that I think to most people, particularly with substance use disorders, it looks to most people like alcohol or drugs are the problem. And But to the person who's suffering with a substance use disorder, alcohol and drugs are not the problem, they're the solution. And so when st somebody stops using or stops engaging in eating disorder behaviors, they don't get better. Actually, something seems to get worse. And so the question uh, that we address in treatment that I think a lot of other treatment centers do not address is not why the substance, but why the pain underneath it. And uh, most treatment centers, I would say, have uh, different tracks for substance use disorder, eating disorders, trauma, and, or depression, anxiety. And uh, we don't have separate tracks here. We have everybody in the same group because we really believe that when you focus on uh, the pain underneath uh, the substance use or the eating disorder behaviors uh, and start to heal in that way, that the substance use and um, the eating disorder behaviors just start to fall away. I think it's really important to um, help parents, teachers, social workers, counselors understand uh, the warning signs of what to look for um, in their kids, students, um, because a lot of times I think particularly with uh, parents uh, it's very easy to slip into this idea that if their child is engaged in drugs uh, and drinking alcohol that it's bad behavior and for some kids it is but most of the time the reason uh, and by the way you know most people uh, who try drugs and alcohol don't end up becoming addicted to them uh, but for the people that do, it's not a behavioral problem. Um, it's a brain disease. And so it's very easy to uh, start to believe that what really we need to do with our kids is to punish them. But uh, what we really need to understand on a deeper level is um, why they're sad or why they are uh, isolating. Uh, why they don't seem to have as many friends uh, that they used to. Um, so that's one piece that's really important. Also, there is um, 
a common misconception sometimes uh, in the suburbs um, that if you uh, let your kids drink in your house, somehow it's okay um, because you can keep an eye on them. And, uh, you know, that's not really uh, our approach here at all. Well, I, I think that the most uh, powerful thing or powerful tool that we have as clinicians is not uh, answers, it's asking the right question. And so the first question that I would ask somebody in the same way that uh, when you go to your doctor, uh, the first thing your doctor asks you is, where does it hurt? That would be the first question I would ask somebody. And uh, everybody knows where they hurt, you know. Um, and so that's not a hard question to answer um, because the chances are that a question has been developing in the person's mind for a long time and that question is what's wrong with me you know why does everybody else seem to get it and I don't why does it seem like everybody else uh, seems to fit in and I don't it seems like everybody else got the manual to life and I somehow missed that day you know, so it's really connecting on that level of which I think um, most of the time what people are really looking for is a connection. You know, they're looking for a way to um, not be constantly thinking about um, what's wrong with me. One of the other uh, initial sort of underlying causes of uh, eating disorders and substance use disorders is trauma. And the thing about trauma is that there are two types of people in this world. There are people who know that they're traumatized and there are people that don't know that they're traumatized, but everybody's traumatized. And trauma is not necessarily uh, something that happens to you when you're a kid, it isn't necessarily abuse. Um, it can be something as small as finding out that you're not your parents' favorite and that your sibling is. Or finding out that you are your parents' favorite. Uh, that can also be traumatic because then you have to sustain it. Right? Um, and so trauma, uh, from where I stand is uh, anything that happens to you or anything that you witness that freezes you in time and it is something that you cannot reason your way out of with your thinking mind and so there's a part of you however old you are that freezes in that moment and you can be 35 years old but part of you is still 10 years old when you found out that you weren't mom's favorite and so part of the work that we do here is talking to that 10 year old and finding out what that person needs uh, and really realizing that uh, none of the parts inside of you are bad, that, the, that they're all uh, designed to protect you from something, but that they need to be heard and listened to and understood uh, and certainly not shamed. I think that the, the key ingredient to healing from any kind of trauma is empathy and love and compassion.